I'm here with Brad White of the Ouch Maxis team um, before the start of stage four. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, all right, Brad, so tell me, you know, about the, the past three stages in the Ouch, and I know you tried a few attacks and flyers at the end. So, so tell me about that. Yeah, yesterday, um, you know, we've kind of planned because of Columbia taking control of the race and playing it kind of cool out in the breakaways. Uh, knowing that it's probably going to come down to a field sprint and trying to uh, stir things up there at the end. But uh, without Mark Cavendish there today and Cervello kind of taking control, uh, we'll be looking for the move probably more often now than the first three stages. So, so is that what you meant by throwdown on Twitter? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, and also the GC guys, I mean, the time's kind of running thin and we thought things would probably stir up a little bit more yesterday because of... Yeah, it looked like a little bit more difficult stage on profile, but I think today is going to be somewhat similar. And I think uh, the GC guys need to start really stirring the pot a little bit. So they had a pretty easy day yesterday and the day before. So I think today might be the day they really start start going. So I'm curious, why didn't it stir up yesterday? Everybody was expecting it, and it was uh, pretty mellow out there. Yeah, you know, I think actually the stage two I think took a little bit more out of people than what what people thought. Um, Starting out that day, we had 7K neutral yesterday, stage three, and uh, everyone was kind of tired, you could tell, um, especially when the first attack that goes sticks. Um, it's a bit strange, but um, and then once we hit some of the KOMs, we thought maybe some GC guys would try and uh, get away. Maybe a second break would go, but uh, that didn't happen. Team Type 1 was trying to keep it together for uh, the KOM jerseys and stuff, so. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange day yesterday, but we'll see what happens today. Hopefully. Okay. So you crashed yesterday, right? So what happened yeah, there? Yeah, going, going back to, to feed after the second KOM, and uh, a lot of guys were coming through the cars after taking a bathroom break, and there was just a lot going on, and just that's what happens sometimes, unfortunately. All right, so you know, you've got John, the sprinter, and yep. then there's you, who takes slow flyers once in a while, so is that the plan again today, or are you not going to tell me? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm always kind of looking for that move yesterday. You know, I've been trying to learn not to take, follow that first move because that usually doesn't go, and then uh, the day I don't, it, it goes. So uh, I learned my lesson, so we'll, we'll be aggressive today myself. And then um, the finish today, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how our sprinters are doing today at the end of the day. It's kind of, they've been kind of hot and cold, hot and cold, so we'll see. All right, last one. So it's been pretty chaotic, especially yesterday, uh, the finish. So you like that? or? Yeah, I mean, it was a hard finish. Columbia's been on the front quite a bit, so they were tired. Uh, Tim took a flyer there near the end and really broke broke them up quite a bit. Uh, so it got to be pretty crazy at the end. Cavendish was kind of isolated, and I think that played to, to Thor's uh, advantage a bit um, and his team as they were resting most of the time. So, yeah, having a chaotic there at the end is good. You know, we have Rory who could take a flyer there too, so... I think that suits us pretty well. Our, our sprinters are pretty good without without a train. So, all right. Thank you. Yep.